Most of the patients referred to me with a question of a myeloproliferative disorder usually have an abnormal CBC where their white count is extraordinarily high or their hemoglobin hematocrit are very high or their platelet count is very high. Um, and in those situations where I suspect um, a myeloproliferative neoplasm, I always do a bone marrow biopsy. A bone marrow biopsy is really necessary to make a diagnosis of the disease and to determine which of the three diseases the patient may have. Um, we also send off uh, that bone marrow biopsy for chromosomal testing to see whether or not there are any chromosomal abnormalities in the bone marrow, and for mutational testing, looking most commonly for the common mutations in myeloproliferative neoplasms, JAK2, uh, CalR, uh, MIPL gene, um, looking for TAT2. Um, uh, we're looking for common genes that are mutated in myeloproliferative diseases. By putting all of that information together, the blood counts um, and the bone marrow information and the mutational information, it helps us to determine what the best course of treatment might be and uh, whether or uh, what the ultimate prognosis might be. If there are multiple mutations, for example, that patient may be in a poorer prognostic category than a person that has just one.